Hey y'all, it's Amanda. It's Monday, AAA day. Um, so I had to adult really hard today. So I got working out at 6 a.m. this morning and I can't even get my workout recap video done until almost 6 p.m. What's up with that business? I mean, that's a whole level of adulting that I'm just not really sure that I like. Just saying. Just saying. So let's talk about AAA. If I can remember the back that far, I mean, there's been so many hours that's happened since then. So let's talk about AAA. The three by ten that made me feel a little bit better. Made me feel like that um, that I was in control of the workout instead of the workout controlling me. Yeah. Um, I still think that we need to have a meeting of the minds about all of these different countries that we are that we are visiting, Czechoslovakia and all of those good things. Um, but, you know, it's okay. It's okay. I'm trying to come to grips. I'm trying to come to grips with the, these new things. Because, you know, change is hard and change is difficult and it pushes us outside of our comfort zone. And, you know, last week really sucked because I had to be outside my comfort zone. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. But you know what? It's okay. Because when we start our health and fitness journey, that's big outside of our comfort zone. So we just got to keep pushing outside of our comfort zone and keep growing and stretching and hoping that I can become as tall as Wonder Woman. I'm hoping that my growing and stretching means that I'm going to get a little bit taller. Yay, warrior princess. So, we are working really hard on the AAA this week in our 3 by 10s lifting a little bit heavier. I love it when Autumn's like, I'm going to lift a little heavier. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lift an 8. And I'm like, yeah. Got to love it when lifting heavy means 8 pounds. Woo! Makes you nervous. Makes you nervous about what's going to come next. And my theory is still holding up that whenever Autumn says something is her favorite move, that it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt me. And uh, I went to my massage therapist on on Saturday, and I learned some things about myself. I think that I've had a had an impingement in my pec minor. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even know there was a pec major and minor, but there is. And so, um, so I have been feeling really sore. So, but, um, you know, that's okay. That's okay because my range of motion was awesome. You want to know what happened today? In those twist and crunch moves, my elbow touched the ground. And you might think, well, the elbow touching the ground was a big deal for you. Yes. Yes, it was. Range of motion is not always my friend. Not always. I mean, like, if we're talking about range of motion, like, one of the one of the good example is those windshield wiper exercises. You better hope that you have better windshield wipers than what I'm giving on them sliders if you come down a torrential rainstorm. Or if you happen to get mud splattered all over your windshield, you better hope that you are dealing with a much higher quality of wiper than what happens with me on them sliders. That's all I got to say. Because let me just say, if my Toyota started acting like that, I'd be taking it in for some service. I'd be like, 1-900, Daddy, Daddy, I'm going to need you to come help me fix my windshield wipers. Okay, yes, my daddy is my mechanic. Yes, I call him Daddy. I don't call him Dad. I, I call him Daddy. He's Daddy. That's what happens. I, I have a mama and a Daddy. That's what I got. That's what I got. It's how we do it here. Or how I do it here. And so, then we got to like lean back camels with the biceps. I mean, there's just so many things going on. Um, I'm curious if this action will help me on my multitasking game. I would love to be able to multitask just a little bit better. Just a little bit. I would love to be able to listen to my child's jokes and read a book at the same time. That would be an awesome multitasking thing. Just saying. Y'all, I feel better this week in the workouts, seriously. Um, I'm still really sore from my massage, but um, I think that it was very therapeutic and my muscles feel better than they have in a while. I'm starting to reap the benefits of the massage and not just the pain. Um, so I'm learning so much about myself and about how to take care of my body and what my body needs. Um, apparently, my body needs massages. I'm down with that. Apparently, my body needs um, sleep. 
I slept most of the afternoon yesterday, had a horrible migraine. Um, and what I'm finding is that I push myself so hard through the week um, that by the week, by the, slept the weekend and when I finally relax, my body just kind of freaks out a little bit. And so um, I have to do better self-care through the week. And, um, I'm, and I know that I wouldn't have learned that without this program and this really big focus on the sleeping eight hours and the eating nutrition at a certain time and um, doing these self-care things. I just, I wouldn't have done that. That was a piece apparently that I was really, really missing out on. Um, I'm a gal who definitely burns the candle at both ends. I do. Um, I always got several side hustles rolling. That's just how I do. Um, but... I feel like that it's important um, for me to share these lessons that I'm learning about myself to you so that you can think about, do I need to learn this lesson as well? And maybe you do. Maybe you need to do better self-care. I know part of my self-care this week is going to be stretching and foam rolling because I promised my massage therapist, like, seriously, she told me that if I didn't do that, I was really going to be hurting for certain. So I'm trying to behave. I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to do what I've been told. I like to be obedient. Most of the time, if I feel like it, if it benefits me, yeah, I'm pretty defiant. I don't floss every day. Sometimes I forget to brush my teeth. I hardly ever brush my hair. I wear leggings in public. I don't like to wear shoes. Yeah, I'm pretty defiant pretty defiant. The only person who really gives me directions that I listen to right now is Autumn. Yeah, being honest. All right, y'all. So here's the thing. We are going to go into this week. And so my coach and I both struggled last week. We talked about it. And I know some of you guys have been talking about it too. Like you've been talking about how hard it was this last week, how much hungrier you were, how much sore you were, how much more sore you were. And so my coach and I have decided that we are just going to rock it out on week two. Like, ain't nobody going to stop us. Don't stop, get it, get it on week two, okay? That's what we're going to do. We're going to be totally laser focused for week two of phase three. It's what's going to happen. It doesn't matter what happened last week. It's what matters. It matters what happens right now. So we are in the now. We are going to get it done. And we're going to have the eye of the tiger. We're going to be focused. And we're going to rise from the ashes of last week. Okay, y'all have a great day. Hey, y'all. So I just wanted to tell you thank you for watching my video. Um, if you liked this video and you felt like that it was of some great value to you, then I would appreciate it if you liked the video. Um, you can do that down below. Um, and if you really would like to know every time I post a new one, then click the subscribe button down below too. And then you would get a little bit of an update every time that I post a new video, which usually happens at least once a day. I mean, a daily dose of meat. Awesome, right? So also, your next mission, if you choose to accept it, is if you feel like that there's someone in your life who could really benefit from the words that I've said today, then please share my video. Please share my video with them and tell them that I'm here and I'm ready to listen. So like, share, comment, blow it up, y'all. I'm ready to hear what you got to say. And if you have an interesting question or if you just want to show me some love or if you want to rant about something, use the comments below too. That's what they're there for. So y'all have a great day.